Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be setting up a cash envelope system for myself. I've been really getting into this and watching a ton of videos about this and I really like the idea and I'm going to try to implement this into my life because for me, um, I'm pretty good about saving money in my bank account. I do that for my bills already. So I don't plan on like cash stuffing bills because I already do that sort of uh, in my checking and savings accounts and that works out pretty well for me. Um, and I kind of do like what I've seen people do here and take your paychecks and split them and then, you know, take, especially for like big, big chunks of payments like rent because um, mine is quite high. I do split that between all my paychecks and I save that money and put it in my account. Um, for me, I'm not going to pull the money out and put them in envelopes and then take the money back. Like for me, that's too much, too much going to the bank. Um, so all my bills, anything that's like auto paid, I'm going to keep that in the bank where it is because that system works for me and I do pretty well with that. Now, my problem is when it comes to going shopping and spending money out and about. That's where I have my issue. Because I overspend on groceries, I overspend at Target, I overspend on eating out, like all that. So I feel like this is going to help me to stay like accountable, like actually physically seeing the money in the envelopes and knowing how much I have left to spend for the week and budget that. I feel like this is going to help in that part of my life. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, I also want to set up, so I'm going to set up this right here, which is, I got this Moterm um, because I wanted somewhere to put the envelopes in and I also wanted to look cute too. So I got this, um, I got this off of Amazon and I plan on putting some of these in there, which I actually made these. I saw these, like a ton of these on Etsy to purchase or like other sites to purchase. And I really like the idea of these. It's just, I didn't want to spend all the money on it. Although I, I did spend money on the items to make these. So I did invest in those, like when it comes to buying a laminator, also buying the pouches, laminating pouches, because I did want to go with more of a matte look. And they are a little bit more expensive, but I felt like it would be good for me to do this since I wasn't sure category wise, like which ones I wanted to do. And I didn't want to have to keep like buying, like ordering more. And I like making things for myself, so I'm still learning how to do them. Um, so that's like the sizing and all that is still a work in progress. But for the most part, made these and I think they look pretty good. So happy with that. So I'm going to put these in. Some of these are going to go in here and some of them are going to go in this binder over here. So this one's going to be the one where I take it out and about. This one will be my purse. Um, and the spending money that I'll have for when I'm going to stores and all that. So that's what I plan on putting in there. This one is going to be for like, I'm going to start sinking funds because I think that's a really good idea. For me, it's um, the, the main ones are Christmas, which I have here. Um, auto repair, because I'm, my car's about to hit 100,000 miles. So definitely going to be having some good repairs coming up in the future with that. I just got new tires, so I don't have to worry about that, thankfully. Uh, and then the other one I want to focus on is like my registration, my tags that I have to pay every year because um, I never save for that, even though I should. I should save for those. So that's the plan. Um, those three. For sinking funds, I think I might have some more in here, like clothing or something that'll go in here. And then this one. So this one's awesome because I really don't have to set up too much in this one because my friend Elise from Plan with Elise, I, she actually gave these to us when we went to Go Wild and we were sitting at the same table as a table made gift. And she already set it up with some trackers for savings. So I'm excited about that because this is like good to go. I just want to add a couple more for myself in here. So yeah, if you're not sure uh, or if you're not plan if you're not following Elise already, she has a bunch of good like budget content over there, planning content, all that. Um, plan with Elise. So thank you, Elise, for this cute little binder that's all ready to go for me all right so I'm gonna start off with this one right here I'm just putting in the envelopes that I want to take out and about with me so obviously not gonna do Christmas because this one's gonna go in the sinking fun eating out I'm gonna put that in here 
so yeah eating out oh and i made these again they're not perfect i'm still trying to work these out uh and i did use vellum on one side again they are matte they are matte pouches i'll have them linked they're they're kind of pricey compared to the glossy but honestly so much better than the glossy i feel um and i really like how these turned out i got the lettering from canva because i do pay for a subscription to canva so eating out is going to go in here coffee is going to go in here now see with coffee i do pay on my um app because i usually do mobile orders and you get double points so for me this is just going to be like i'm going to put the money in but then i'm going to take it away once i've spent it from my actual account i'm going to load it that's the only one that's going to be a little bit like i'm actually paying from my card but visually i'm going to know like when when i've spent enough money for the week that's what this is going to be um so i have clothing i'm actually going to put this i'm not going to put it in here yet until like i have money for clothing and then i'll put it in here when i'm actually going to go out shopping for clothing um i have a little spending one which i feel is like you know to treat myself kind of um little envelope this one's for go wild which if you're not sure what go wild is it is a planner conference that happens every year um i went to it like a few weeks ago in dc and so i'm already going to start saving for this one and when i actually do i'm going to do more content for like cash envelopes when i stuff this one i already have a good amount of money thanks to my family because they did give me a bunch of money for my birthday and i'm gonna do a little i'm gonna have a head start on saving for this thanks to the to their lovely gifts this year so i have go wild i have electronics because i do want to buy a new i actually don't have a desktop i want to buy a desktop maybe like a new filming situation because i've had this for like years even though it works i kind of want something new so that's gonna go in the sinking funds this disney one uh i do have a pass to disney and i want to make sure i save last time i went i overspent but it was my first time going with my past so i kind of splurged a little bit but i want to make sure i set aside money because i do plan on going at least once a month to disney uh, i don't have like the very top pass i have the one right below it so i still have to pay for like 15 dollars in parking and um of course like food and a little souvenir when i go so that's gonna get stuffed and then once i go to disney i'll put it in here all right so the next is home decor this is one of my problem areas when it comes to shopping i'll go to the store especially target and then i will buy something if it's cute and sometimes they're really cheap and but you know it adds up so this one's gonna be my home decor um envelope eventually i'm gonna want to do one like for christmas decor or holiday decor because that's another problem area i have once the holidays come i just buy all the stuff and again trying to be better about that um but this is going to be home decor for like whenever i see something at target or go to tj maxx or home goods then i can pick something up with this money all right and then the last one i have oh is auto repair so this one will go over here so it looks like for now i have spending coffee and eating out oh i need groceries did I not make one for groceries? I thought I did. <laughs> I guess I didn't. I need to make one for groceries. I have other categories. See, this is why I like doing these videos because then I realize, oh yeah, I, I didn't make one. So yeah, I need one for groceries. That definitely needs to go in here. So I'll make that one, sorry, off camera. Um, and then what were the other ones I wanted to do? Groceries, oh, a furniture one because I, I moved into my apartment like a year ago but there's still some pieces i want to get for my place like i want to get a dresser and then also like a little coffee bar situation going on here so um those are things i want to save for to um buy in the future so that's another envelope that i need to make and if you guys want to see how i make them definitely let me know down in the comments um like i said i have my own way of doing it i'm sure there's easier ways of doing it but if you want to see how i do it i can definitely show that all right, so I'm still working out the envelopes, like I said. For now, this is what's going to be in here. I'm not going to do gas. I see some people stuffing gas. For me, if I feel like gas, I'm just going to use the card. I'm going to try to go to Costco. They don't they don't do cash over there. So I really don't want to have to like pull money to put money back 
and do all that. And honestly, gas, if I have to drive, then I have to drive. And I don't want to like limit myself when it comes to the amount of money, especially also because sometimes the gas prices just fluctuate. I'm in California and they're just expensive. It's, it's expensive. Sometimes it's really, really expensive. Sometimes it goes down. It's kind of all over the place. And I just don't want to budget for it. I don't really drive around too much. Thankfully, I only work 10 minutes away. So I don't have a long commute. Um, and so that's good. But I'm not going to budget or cash envelope for that. Okay, so that's going to be it for now. Except for groceries. Like I said, I have to stick that in here. And then once one of these, like once I'm ready to like go shopping, like for clothing, I'll stick that in there. But for now, these are going to be, so yeah, this is it for that these are going to be in this envelope right here. So I got this one off of Amazon. I think it was $10. They're super inexpensive. They come with all of this stuff. These, um, these like, oh gosh, what, zippered pouches. And then it comes with a little budget sheet, which is really cute, ready to go for this one. Now I, oh, you know what? I didn't check. I don't know these aren't gonna fit in here okay so I I remember now okay now I remember so this is another little mistake see I'm like learning um these I punched with so how is this gonna work because this is gonna be fun <laughs> so these I punched with I think I'm gonna have to make like separate pouches I think that's what I'm gonna have to do but I have a punch here it is okay so I have a punch and this is good because you see the mistakes and then you can learn from them hopefully <laughs> because I'm a beginner at this and I'm learning as I go. Um, but I bought this punch off of Amazon. Again, this was like maybe not even more than 15 bucks for a punch, which is not bad because I have a happy planner punch and that thing is expensive. So this one has a bunch of different sizes. This one is an A6 size so that the rings, the punches, match up to A6, but from what I've heard, I think this one is actually a personal size. I'm gonna do a little punch test just to double check though on camera. So let me get a piece of paper so that way I can do that. All right, so I just got a regular piece of paper and I'm gonna switch this to the uh, personal. I believe that's the size that fits this one. So I got personal here. And then I'm just gonna punch it. So line it up to that little plastic end right there. Punch. Okay, so these definitely are a little bit different, like off from that one. So I think this is the size I need for this one, geez. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So yeah, this is personal size. Okay. I don't know why that is. I, I'm not quite sure. So now I need to figure out how I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to have to make, I'm going to have to make um, pouches for like envelopes that are sized for this one because this one's sized for the A A6 on my punch. And then I'll have to make one for. No, you know what I'm going to do? Okay. These are going to be for here. But I'm going to use these because I don't have to punch anything and I don't have to do double the work because that's annoying. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these plastic pouches in here. So these are already, oh, I'm going to punch out all these. Oh, no, they have like little pieces on it. Okay, so I'm taking off these little plastic pieces. I have a bunch of these all over the place, apparently. So I'm going to show you what I plan on doing. This is going to go in here. Okay. And then, um, I'll have to, like, letter this something. I don't think this will fit. No, definitely doesn't fit in there. I don't know how I'm going to do this now. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. If I want to make more of these, but punch them to this size, maybe, or I'm going to have to like, like put a letter 
like a vinyl letter on here, which I really don't want to do because I don't really like doing things with vinyl on the Cricut because I'm not familiar with it, but that is an option. Or I can get a label maker and just put it there, but I, aesthetically, I don't like the way that will look. Honestly, I think what I'm going to do is just make another version of this, but punched for this personal size. Yeah, because I just like the way it looks better. So eventually I'll do that. When I do my cash stuffing, you'll see that already. So I'll have the actual ones in here. And I guess I'll just kind of, I don't know, have these off to the side and switch them out that way. That's kind of annoying though. I don't know why they're sized differently. I thought this was an A6, but it is what it is. All right, so not really much to set up there, but at least you kind of saw my categories when it comes to like what I plan on putting in here. Um, I wonder if like I see people with those PVC style like binders. I wonder if those will fit or if that's the same punch. If you know, let me know if it's actually an A6 size or a personal size on the rings. Okay, so last thing I'm going to set up, sorry, I didn't realize that was going to happen is this now like i said this is already set up for for me to go so i'm gonna take these out because i don't think i'm gonna use these but elise was super nice and she already set this up so this is the go wild tracker um and i plan on saving i think at least twenty five hundred dollars for go wild for next year i'm hoping that i won't have to pay as much for a hotel or plane and also for spending money there um, cause I only spent at the one in DC for food. Uh, I didn't really buy souvenirs or do anything like that. So I'm going to do 2,500 and then all of that, I have a little calculator. So 2,500, uh, divided by how many of these are? One, two, three, four, five two, three, four, five, six. So divided by 30. And that is about $83. So I'm going to go like each of these are $84 is what I'm going to put here. Let's take this out. Okay. So these are going to be $84. Okay, and then um, that makes it 84 times 30 is 2520. 2520. Okay, so like I said, my, my family gave me some money. So when I do the cash uh, stuffing for these, because I haven't, they gave me checks and I need to go and deposit those. So that would be 500 divided by 84, which is, oh gosh, I can't see because of my ring light. It's almost six of these little llamas that I get to fill in. So that's pretty good. Um, But I'll do that in another video, but I just wanted to set that one up here for Go Wild because I can't wait to go again to that. Definitely going to go to that one next year. All right. So next one, vacation. I guess that would be considered vacation, but I like that this one is like for go wild. So I'm going to use this one. Honestly, that's my only vacation I'm going to be going on aside from like Disney trips. That's about it. Uh, I do want to do this 52 weeks challenge. So that's something I'm going to do. And actually, let me take this one out because I'll save this one for another time if I do plan on going on a vacation. But I'm going to do this 52 weeks one. This is a good one too, a planner supply tracker. Uh, I do plan on having eventually an envelope for this. So that way I'll have, you know, money to spend on planner items. So I'm gonna work on that one. This one is just, oh, it's just like a per like a, a tracker for purchases and balances and amounts on that one. A birthday savings tracker, That's that's a good idea. I need to actually, do that. I haven't figured out how much I want to save for those. I have to figure out like how much I should be saving for those and then figure out the quantities on that one. This one 
she did uh, it's a blank one so you can fill it in however you like for each box now all this stuff is available on her Etsy I'll have that link down in the description with a code and all of that if you're interested in getting her printables are all digital downloads which is really nice Ooh, self-care that's a good one too all right so those are the ones that she included in here but I am gonna add a couple more that I saw oh one of them's actually hers too and I actually already like put these together oops um so this one's from Elise's paid or Etsy too I bought her savings challenge her five dollar savings challenges for each month uh, and then I laminated them so that way I could just reuse them. You can use like a permanent marker and then reuse them. So this one's a March savings challenge. It's already March, like half, more than halfway through. But I could still start saving for it. I meant to do this like towards the beginning of the month. It just didn't happen. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do this March. She has, Jan I have all the months, but I haven't done April yet. So I'll do that one in another video. Um, but here's January and February. I think they're cute because they're they have like a different icon each month to color in And it's only five dollars. So that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna keep these in here for now Just to have them in here And then actually I'm gonna do the March one. I'm gonna do the March one and I'm actually gonna take let me take this Envelope since I'm not gonna do this one yet And I could just save this one for now back here and then this one will be like the money for this one can go in here like that. Okay. And then another one that I kept seeing like some people do, because I think like savings is saving money is, it doesn't sound fun, but to make it a little bit more fun, I feel like this is a good way to do it. And I thought this was a fun like game to play <laughs> to save. So um, this is a roll the dice savings challenge so you can like pick one I have to get dice actually and um and then you just roll and then however much that is that's what you put to save and then you color it in that's kind of the idea behind this one I will link the Etsy shop I I got this from but I'm gonna put this back here I don't know yet which one I'm gonna do first I guess I could do the 150 first just to make it easy for myself I'm actually gonna grab another one of these little plastic pouches and I'll put it behind the 150 and I'll keep those behind there once I'm ready to like do one of those and I don't know the best way to take these things off okay yeah I'm excited about about these savings ones Okay, so then this will be the little pouch to hold the money for this one in here. Okay, so that's it for now. That's my little setup for the savings. Um, and then I got my, the one I'm going to carry around with me, and then my sinking funds one needs some help. I don't know, I might change this one to a different one, because I really want to be able to use these envelopes. I don't want to have to punch them like make new ones. I want to be able to be, transfer them in over here so that way I can go and spend the money. Because that's the whole point of these is that I can go and take these out and about and spend the money. Because I like shopping in stores. So all of these are like in-store kind of spending ones that I want to take, be able to take with me wherever I go. So I want to be able to put them in here. We'll see. If not, I'll just make different punch ones. It's not, thankfully, I have a ton of supplies and I'm getting a little bit better about making them, so I think it'll be doable. But for now, it's kind of like what my this budgeting cash envelope system is looking like for now. So I hope you all enjoyed watching. Um, again, I'm at the very beginner stages of this. I'm seeing tons of videos, but it's definitely different when you start applying it to your own life. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So I'll, I'll keep you along on the journey with this. Let me know if you want to see like what type of content you want to see when it comes to this. Because um, I've been really enjoying watching other people's videos uh, and their cash stuffings and all of that fun stuff and learning about it. So I hope you all uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next one.